I'm Rob from Modern Tribe, and I want to thank you for purchasing the Community Events add-on. Over the next few minutes here, I'm going to walk you through the basics of installing the plugin, activating it, and getting your license key hooked in. In subsequent screencasts as part of this new user primer, we'll get into more in-depth functionality, but this is just the basics. To that end, if you've already done this for a previous plugin with Modern Tribe, or you just know how to do it in general, probably don't have to watch this. It's not going to be reinventing the wheel in any sense. But if you're unfamiliar, don't worry, it's very easy. I'm assuming that by the time you're watching this, you've already completed your purchase for the Community Events add-on and have downloaded the plugin so that the zip file is easily accessible somewhere on your computer. From there, come into the dashboard of your site and go to Plugins, Add New, and select the plugin Upload option. Choose the zip file, hit Install Now, and when you get plugin installed successfully, you know you're in good shape. Then you would just activate the plugin so it's turned on. You'll get this yellow message that says plugin activated and you're ready to go. Note that right now I have the events calendar and the events calendar community events activated. Community events is an extension that adds on to the functionality of the core of the events calendar. To that end, if I don't have the latest version of the events calendar running, community is totally unavailable to me. I have this red message that says I need to install the latest version of the events calendar and until I do, I can't do anything. Come back down here, re-enable the latest stable version, which at the moment is 2.0.11. And with that done, the message goes away and I'm in good shape and I am fully ready to begin using the plugin. With one exception, I don't have my license key in place. Now the license key does not dictate functionality in any sense. The plugin will work 100% without a license key and when your license expires, the plugin will not stop working. But you don't have access to support, so our forum team can't help you if you run into problems, and you won't have access to updates to new versions when new builds are released on a monthly basis if you don't have a key in place. If you've bought one, there's really no reason not to add it, so let's go ahead and do that. To that end, I'm going to come into Events, I'm going to go to Settings, and from Settings, I'll go into the Licenses tab. For every premium plugin I have, there will be a separate license field, but since Community is the only premium plugin I've got at the moment, that's all I'm seeing. One isn't in place, so let's go over to the Tribe site. I'm logged in here with the account credentials that I set up during the checkout process. Once I've done so, I come into Account Central, come into License Keys, and find an empty, unused key for community events. Looks like this one will work. I have one site used, but I'm allowed three, so two of them are available. Let's copy the key, go back over to the back end of our site, drop the key into this field, and tab out of it. It'll work for a second, and then you'll see a green message that says Valid Key expires on expiration date. If you see a red message that says it's an invalid license, it's an expired license, you're going to have problems and the key is not going to be working or registering in any sense. You need to have this green valid key message to know that you're fully set and you need to make sure that you've saved changes and that green message persists after you've saved the changes to know that it's 100% secure. Alright, let's keep going. Back over to the tribe site, we'll refresh the page and we'll notice that that second slot is fully hooked in. Localhost now shows, and I only have one site available. If this were a real website, I obviously would not be seeing localhost, I'd be seeing the URL, much like we see right here, but you get the idea. The idea that I installed it on localhost raises a good point, though. Let's say that at some point I need to move off localhost and move my site to its actual URL, something more official, like usability.tri.be. Would I then have to have the key hooked into both localhost and usability.tri.be? Absolutely not. What you're going to want to do in that situation is come hit this disconnect now next to the local host. When the pop-up appears, hit OK to confirm that you want to turn off auto updates. Make sure that when it refreshes that you only do have that one slot in use. And then come back over to the back end of the site. Again, do pretty much the exact same thing. Wipe it, save your change, and make sure that when you save changes, the key is no longer present. By this point, you've unhooked it from the usability site staging environment and you're ready to move it over to the usability site's actual finished live URL. Let's say you at some point also have to re-download the plugin. That's very easy to do as well, also on the Tribe website. Instead of the license keys page, you come over here into the account central option, which also on this page appears in the sidebar, and you'll go to downloads. Every purchase that you've ever made appears here, as long as you have an active license for it. And it's going to show you the most recent official version. This is the most recent stable build of the Events Calendar Pro. It's 2.0.11. It was released on January 18th, and all I have to do is hit this download button to download the zip file to my computer. If you ever have to reinstall a site, rebuild a site, start from scratch, or anything, you need to get the plugin files again, come in here and you'll be set. And remember that the core of the events calendar, the free release, is on the WordPress.org repo. So if you want it, go over there and check it out. Hope this helps. Now let's get into the fun stuff. See you in Screencast 2.